In this exemplar video, I'll carry out a fairly simple titration of hydrochloric acid, the analyte, with aqueous sodium hydroxide, the titrant. This is an acid-base titration in which the occurring reaction is neutralization. At the end point, phenolphthalein, the indicator, changes from colorless to pink. In this experiment, we are using dilute acid and base, neither of which are corrosive. Therefore, it is not necessary to wear gloves. Your lab manual will highlight whether you should wear gloves for any experiment with a notice that looks like this. This is all the equipment we need. The analyte and titrant solutions, conical flasks, waste beaker, deionized water and the measuring cylinder, indicator, pipette with filler, funnel, white tile, and a burette. First of all, Wash each piece of glassware with water. Rinse the pipette with deionized water and hold in vertical position for a while to allow it to drain fully. Using clean paper, dry the external walls. If no droplets are present inside, the pipette is clean. There is small amount of water near the tip, and that can be discarded using paper. Now follow a similar procedure for the burette. Rinse it with water and use clean paper to get rid of any water near the tip. No droplets are present inside, so the burette is clean and you can move on. Rinse the flasks with deionized water several times, adding small amounts at a time. There is no need for the flasks to be dry. Prepare the burette for titration. Ensure the tap is open and wash the burette with small amount of titrant three times, using a funnel to help you transfer the solution. Each time, allow to drain fully. Note how the funnel is always held above the burette. Now close the tap and fill the burette with the titrant over the zero level. Adjust the volume of the solution by opening the tap and then closing it when the bottom of the meniscus reaches some arbitrary value. Read this value with two decimal places, the second one being only estimated. Remember to discard any drop of the solution from the tip. Titration is usually performed four times. The first run is a rough titration. Run your solution in from the burette, shaking the analyte continuously. And observe the rate at how the color disappears, to give you an idea of how close you are to the end point. When close enough, add the titrant dropwise. When the solution turns pink, rinse the burette tip with water, Read the volume with two decimal places and subtract the initial one. For the accurate run, refill the burette to some arbitrary value and run the solution at once, stopping 20 to 30% before the volume added in the rough run. Now, expect the end point at any time. Rinse the burette tip and flask walls with water to ensure that all of the added titrant is down in the analyte solution. Add the titrant dropwise and rinse the tip and walls after each drop. You have now reached the end point. Read the volume from the burette and subtract the initial value just like in the rough run. Repeat the accurate run until you get three concordant results. That means results that differ by no more than 0.1 milliliter. Discard the rough titration, even if it agrees with the accurate runs. Calculate the concentration from the average of those volumes.